Hey everyone, today is Tuesday. I asked Megan to switch days with me because I'm going to New York. Devin Monday and Corey from Corianne Speaks have been planning this event to in New York. The Teen Author Carnival, it is going to be... I'll put the information in the sidebar. But you should definitely come to it. It's going to be awesome. And if you can't come, you can watch it on Blog TV Live. And last week, I decided that I'm going. That I am going to the Teen Author Carnival and BEA with Devin and Corey. And that I was going to make my boyfriend go with me. So, um, something that they've been planning for months, I decided to do in less than a week. Actually, a week and a half. So yeah, that's me for you. The book I'm reviewing today is Kiss Me, Kill Me by Lauren Henderson. It was really good. I'm in the middle of the sequel right now. I probably won't finish it until after I get back from New York. I'm going to be gone for two weeks. Uh, the rest of this week and all of next week. Um, Scarlett lives in London and she goes to a like exclusive uh, prep school. And what ends up happening is she gets invited to this party with all the popular kids and she has a few glasses of champagne and the hot guy that she's had a crush on for years asks her to go out onto the balcony and so they're talking and they start kissing and then he drops dead while she's kissing him. And she basically gets... um. She basically gets, uh, well, she gets kicked out of her school. A lot of people blame her for Dan's death. She doesn't think that it's her fault. And a lot of, so her family doesn't think it's her fault. But, you know, the general public thinks that it's her fault. And she was labeled the kiss of death girl because the press couldn't release her name since she was underage. The whole story is kind of like a mystery. It details what happens in the events leading up after Dan's death and she finds out some information about what killed him and why and how it could have been prevented and it kind of leaves it at a semi cliffhanger but it definitely drew me in to want to read the sequel which I am in the middle of reading so, I definitely say go buy Kiss Me, Kill Me by Lauren Henderson. Oh, and then for last week's theme, last week's theme was review a book that you don't like. Um, or a book that you couldn't get through. Catcher in the Rye. I hate Catcher in the Rye. I've read that book about six or eight times at least, maybe more. And my boyfriend loves it. Chelsea Wednesday, she loves it. John Green loves it. So many people I know love it. And I really hate Catching the Rock. I can't stand it. I've read it so many times. And I understand why people would like it. I just don't like it. Or like Anna Karenina. I've started that book probably like, like six times and I get about 200 pages in and I put it down to go eat and I come back a day later and I forget everything that I read. <laughs> I've tried to read, read Anna Karenina a million times. So those are two books that I don't, I one, I, I really don't like and two, one that I just have never been able to get through. So yeah. Um, expect lots of footage from New York, from either me, Devin, or Corey, or all three of us. It's going to be awesome. We're going to meet like 30 authors on, um, just Thursday alone. I'm kind of overwhelmed by how much is happening in such a short period of time, but I'm looking forward to it. So... See you guys next, in two weeks. Yeah, because I'm not going to be here next week. Bye.